So there's actually a reason that you really need to shift now. And I don't just mean like whenever you feel like it, I mean right now, today, ideally, or this week, in 2021, even if you're watching this in kind of early 2022, you need to be reality shifting now. And I'll explain why. So the idea of reality shifting is, is taking off, it's trending, um, but largely because it's based around, I mean, obviously the trending idea is based on TikToks and things just, you know, trending on social media platforms. But the reason it's trending is because it's underlying a basic truth that we all know to be true. And we've just kind of forgotten about it over time. And that is that we create our own reality. Everything that you're experiencing is a result of something you have created. And I know that might be hard to hear. It's not hard to hear for people who are, uh, I guess you could say successful. I don't, I don't really like using that term because success in a material sense is kind of meaningless. But if you are living, here's a better way of ex explaining it. If you're living an experience or life that you enjoy, then you will know this to be true. You create that experience. The people that are living a life that they don't necessarily enjoy are not gonna be as quick to admit that they create that experience because no one likes admitting that they, they made a mistake you know, or that they are the reason that they're not having a good experience. But the truth is that everyone's life is self-created, self-manifested. And people realizing this in enormous numbers all around the world, in, especially in the last kind of six months, it's been absolutely unprecedented, the amount of people realizing this. If you want to know more about kind of how and why this is the case, then I would highly encourage you to check out some books, which I uh, some of them I can't mention here, but if you go to my Telegram channel, I can actually give you direct links to these books. Um, they're available online. One of the best ones, I would say, is The Holographic Universe, which is an enormous shift, literally, to your mind, which will explain how the, the universe, everything that we think is physical reality now, is basically a hologram. And you know, that, might become, that, come, that might come as a shock to you, but that's good news because that means you can change what's projected on the hologram screen. So you can decide what you want to experience. And this is kind of how reality shifting works. It's also how, how things like lucid dreaming works. It's also how you, in this reality, I guess you could say, can create things, you can manifest things. And you hear these incredible stories of people using things like the law of attraction, which is really just kind of like a popular way of saying the holographic reality theory, waveform reality. And they do these incredible things, like I've heard of people just deciding on a specific amount of money they want to manifest. And then like a few days later, some random, completely unrelated thing will happen. And just out of the blue, they will get that, they'll get that money. You know, maybe it's like some random person just calls them up and says, hey, there's this opportunity, or I want to buy your whatever for a higher price, or they get a job opportunity, or it could be anything, right? Completely random, or they find money on the street, someone sends them you know, completely random opportunities and ideas that come in to their life, seemingly randomly, but it's not random, of course, because they decided to manifest it. And then the universe or holographic waveform reality unfolded. I speak about this a lot, enfolded and unfolded. The holographic reality unfolded into the reality that the person wanted. And it's really, I have to say, it's quite a rabbit hole. You know, if you dive into this stuff, the further you look in quantum mechanics, the further you zoom into a specific thing, right? You zoom far enough down and then they've discovered that actually there's nothing there. Like it's just a waveform, a vibrating illusion. There's nothing there. No, there's no specific thing that you can point to and say that is what makes up this molecule or this particle or this whatever. Um, and more interestingly, they actually have no space and no time. If you zoom in far enough, there's no, lo there's no locality, non-locality which is exactly how quantum entanglement works, which is the idea of you, if you affect one particle that's entangled with another particle, you know, the effect you, that you produce on the first particle will affect the other one, no matter how far away they are from each other. So literally like you can affect this particle here, the other particle that's linked with that one can be in Australia and instantly, you know, faster than the speed of light, they will have the same change. How can that possibly be true if things are physical as we thought they were? Well, of course it can't. So that's, that explains how the universe is a hologram. So going back on track here, the, there's a kind of a battle going on at the moment for the direction of the planet. And you might have noticed this already. It's kind of hard to avoid at this point. And the dark side or the dark force wants things to go in a fearful, more specific, strict control direction. I don't want to say too much more. And then the light side wants things to go more towards freedom, creativity, love, and enjoying things right? Good experiences. And so what happens is these realities or these different paths are diverging at the moment, the good or the bad, um, the light or the dark. 
these paths become more and more likely the more people focus on them. So if you focus your emotional energy on something positive, even just for a few minutes a day, that has an enormous impact on the collective consciousness of the world and the direction we go in as a planet. So this is why you need to shift right now. You need to start specifically thinking about what do you want to experience, your desired reality, however crazy, however seemingly unrealistic it seems, okay? What do you want to experience? And then just shift to that, to that reality, shift to that experience. And hopefully uh, you, the, the experience you want to have is a positive one, right? Hopefully you don't want to go and live in some dystopian horror reality um, because that's not what you should be doing. But if you want to experience something positive, then by doing that, so by focusing on the positive, you will positively impact the collective humanity. And like I said, it's more important now than ever before. In 2021, maybe early 2022, this is really important, you need to be doing this. So if you haven't already decided what you want to shift to, now is the time. If you haven't watched my other videos about shifting or if you're just purely interested in lucid dreaming, now is the time. Honestly, try and try it out for yourself. Like if you like lucid dreaming, you're gonna love shifting because it's real, like it's physical reality that you're, well, physical reality that you're experiencing. So the main aspect, if you take away one thing from this video, and this applies to shifting, lucid dreaming, and what you might consider to be real reality right now, physical reality. The emotion of love and positivity, if you hold that emotion at the same time as thinking about visualizing or you know concentrating on something you want, or even something you don't want, you know whatever you focus your attention on, you will get more of, okay? And that's such a universal rule, like if you, you might know people who just seem to always be negative and complaining about things and then seemingly randomly, right, they seem to always attract and get those negative experiences. Someone who says they're, you know, they're, they're so unlucky. You've always heard about that person. They say, oh, I'm just so unlucky. I always attract these bad situations. Well, that's because they tell themselves that story that they're unlucky. And so what happens is they literally magnetize these negative situations to themselves and then they experience them and they wonder why it's random. And this is the same reason that you can have these people who are just enormously successful, they seem to get things handed to them and they seem to be so lucky, but it's not really luck. It's just that they've decided what they want to experience and then the experiences they want can't help but being drawn to them. So just bear that in mind, where attention goes, energy will flow. So if you want an experience, think about it, focus on it, give it your emotional energy. If you don't want an experience, and I'm specifically talking about you know what that's going on right now, the control mechanisms, the restrictions, okay, if you don't want those things, don't focus on them. Don't, don't even give them your attention or your energy because that's how they're becoming reality. So by ignoring them, by you know just laughing at them essentially, because it is silly, by just laughing at these things, laughing at the experiences you don't want to have, and instead focusing on what you do want to have, you literally create that reality. I can't stress this enough. If you wanna learn more, check out the Holographic Reality book, check out my other videos on shifting, and just decide, more than anything else, just decide what you want to experience, and then have that experience. It's literally as simple as that.